Hey everyone, I hope you're well and staying safe. So we are just over halfway through October and a lot of prominent events happen this month. There's Black History Month in the UK, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Domestic Violence Awareness Month, Stoptober to quit smoking, World Mental Health Day, one of my favourite festivities, which is Halloween. It's Mummy's birthday, some of my auntie's birthday, some of my cousin's birthday. So a lot happens in October. I've got a script with me today because literally I've got a lot that I want to say. So yeah, um, let's get down to the nitty gritty of the video. Yeah, there's a lot for me to say. Between this script and my lisp, we're going to get it out today on camera. So for the year ahead, are you ready? I like to think of my life in terms of academic years. I've been doing this since my first university. So the start of my new year is September slash October and the end of my year is say June, July. So some of the people that influence and inspire me, they say, when opportunities come along, it's too late to get ready. Therefore, the time to prepare in achieving your goals is now. And goals are dreams with deadlines. I looked at my wall calendar in my bedroom and I counted and there's like 11 weeks until the end of the year and until 2021 starts. Well, technically 2021 is like the real 2020, but I don't really want to get into that now. But okay, it's not really 11 weeks, it's like 10 weeks and four days. But for the sake of maths, let's just say it's 11 weeks. So that's like one month, no, that's like one week off of three months. So yeah, I know for a fact that there are people around the world who have been delayed and derailed with the plans that they had for this year because of the global situation, as well as other things that have happened. How do you think it's best to utilize this last 11 weeks? And I think it's best to put all of your ducks in a row to set the tone for the first half of 2021. Have you written down your goals? Not just type them in your phone, but I mean actually taking a piece of paper, got a pen, wrote down your goals, put deadlines next to them to bring forth your pending and ultimate success. Maya Angelou once said, life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. Maya Angelou also said, success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. I'll use myself as an example. Like the in vogue media platform of today would be podcasts, rather than doing videos in some respects. Although I've been recording, conducting interviews, and editing audio since I was 14 years young. So that would have been very comfortable for me to have done. However, filming footage and editing footage, as I'm sure you've seen in my previous videos, I'm not so comfortable with. Therefore, for me to be successful in creating videos, I have to get out of my comfort zone and press the record button. There's a proverb that says, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to become great. And I think with that, when you make plans and start implementing them, keep them to yourself, especially at first, especially when it comes to really big tasks. Nelson Mandela said, it always seems impossible until it's done. So even if you've been tied down, plan your coming year ahead. An uplifting quote Martin Luther King Jr. once said, was that if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl but by all means, keep going. You know I've got that one off my heart. Yeah, off my heart, I know that one. I'll say it again, actually. So Martin Luther King Jr. said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But by all means, keep going. So I'll ask you again, for the year ahead, are you ready? Take some time to think. Write down, say, five to 10 specific goals with deadlines. Put them somewhere that you're going to see them every single day. I suggest like on your bedroom wall. So when you wake up, obviously the list is there. And as long as you're not hurting anyone or causing any bad karma or negativity, then without hesitation or any apprehension, do what you have to do to achieve them. Do what you have to do to achieve your goals by any means necessary. Okay, that's not mine, that's Malcolm X, but you know, it could have been mine. So yeah, by any means necessary. <laughs> Uh, okay, anyways, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my morning run, because I'm trying... <laughs> okay, I can't lie on my own YouTube channel. I'm not going to do a morning run, I'm going back to my morning walk. Okay, I'm not ready for running just yet, neither are my thighs. But you know, I'm preparing to start running. You know, I'm getting ready. 
like what I did there, you know? Okay, so yes. Anything else for me to say? No, it's time for me to go. Have a marvellous month. Take care. Stay safe. Be fabulous. I'll see you soon. Bye.